So we're out here at Silver Falls, or should I say I'm out here at Silver Falls. I'm doing uh, my very first solo hiking trip ever. And this very first solo hiking trip ever is taking place in January, the middle of January. Now this morning when I woke up to go to work, um, it was about uh, plus four degrees and raining. And as you can see behind me, it's not raining anymore. It's actually gotten quite cold. It's about minus nine right now. And if you catch a windy spot, it's chilly. Because one of the things I found I was running into is that my gear, although it's not super heavy, it's very large. My sleeping bag is huge. My underquilt is huge. Uh, my hammock, I mean, it packs down, but it's still pretty big. I'm using the uh, Hennessy Expedition for this trip. It's actually uh, my first trip with the Hennessy Expedition. I've never slept in it before. So, never hiked alone. Never hiked in the winter. <laughs> not like this <clears throat> never slept in the hammock I'm using and I've never used this Cuban fiber tarp in fact I've never actually got to set it up yet so this this might be a might be a disaster actually <laughs> anyway just remember I went out doing what I love that's all that counts anyway. be advised you may video surveillance okay I'll video surveillance then here we go we're going up the trail I'm just kidding So we're down the first hill. Um, we're in a bit more of a clear patch here. And uh, we're just heading down actually towards the water. So just coming around the first little steep bit that goes. So just as an example, this is the ice we're contending with. And up ahead of me, the only way down is on this icy path. And I got a broken tailbone, so this is gonna be interesting. There's no real way to go around. So Gotta figure it out, I guess. So, like I say, that was only about a, I don't know, 15, 20 minute hike, maybe. And uh, this first little clearing here that we're gonna open up into, this is where I'm gonna set up the hammock. I'm still hoping I can use trees for the tarp, if that's at all possible. But I'm gonna wander around, check out the water, find myself a spot to hang. And, well, I think I found my spot. I'm gonna tie up to, uh, actually, these two trees here behind me. I'm gonna get that started right away. Right now the way the wind is coming, the uh, all these trees are blocking it. So that's perfect, but the wind might change and I'll be exposed, but that's okay. It'll be a good uh, good test for all my winter gear. All right, just wanted to give you a quick little progress update. Got my pack unpacked. I would have loved to show you that, but I thought I was running out of daylight. I can hear the water bumping behind me. Yesterday's rain and this morning's rain, obviously, are gonna push those water levels up a little bit. Anyway, hammock set up here behind me. You can see the underquilt. The underquilt actually looks like it needs to be inflated. It's pretty, uh, it was squeezed in there pretty tight. The important thing when you're winter camping, don't set up your underquilt just before you go to bed. Uh, the down does need some time to come back to life, so uh, give it that time. Anyway, it's starting to snow a little bit here, so I'm gonna put the, uh, the tarp up. Obviously, I'm gonna be using rocks for that because I didn't bring stakes and it's bedrock underneath me, so. Rocks and trees, here we go. All right, so I just got my, uh, my hammock set up, my tarp is set uh, up. Yeah, so I'm just changing into my uh, my warmer clothes. The breeze has kicked up. It's coming right up under my frickin' tarp um, on the high side. I knew that might happen. I am getting a you know some fair protection here. Once I get you know in the underquilt and stuff, it'll be nice. My backside is nice and warm anyway. Unfortunately, the wind has changed when it does blow up to this direction. So it's going to be a little breezy on the bum tonight. But you know what? This tarp looks like it's going to do just great if it starts to get snowy and rainy and freezing rain like it says. So basically, uh, the fire's ready to go if I want to light it. So the big wood's on the bottom, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And then I built a little log cabin here along the side. And in the middle, I stuffed full of dead, uh, dead pine branches. Well, I'm not sure what time it is, but uh, I don't know, let's light this fire. And I'm using a lighter, and I'm using fire starters. And I don't care one little bit. So I just lit the corner of uh, the one little piece, and we're going to let that get started. You know, and this will be a little bit of an experiment. We'll see if it catches the whole nest. And, uh, there's no doubt this wood is really wet. I mean, we just had a day and a half of rain, followed by the temperature dropping, you know, almost 15, 20 degrees Celsius in a couple of hours. So, I mean, all this is frozen water on here. So, 
I'm hoping that all the stuff here on the back starts to catch and then I can kind of just, you know, squish it all together. But I think this is actually going to work as long as I don't walk away from it for too long. So I'm just going to chop some pieces just like I have here and uh, split them up with my uh, Gerber splitting axe or my Fiskars, I guess, splitting axe and uh, add it to my pile. So I just got some of the bigger pieces of firewood split, just stacked them up around the fire so that uh, they have a bit of a chance to dry out before I try to use them. Oh, there's just a beautiful bed of coals going in there now. It's actually worked out to be a nice little fire. Cozy and warm, a little bit of a breeze. So this is the final fire setup. 